I love living in Bermuda. It's a really good vacation spot, so it's like really funny when everyone's just like, I'm so jealous that you live in Bermuda, and it just makes me feel good because I live where people vacation, which is awesome. So. It is no doubt that Bermuda has got to be an amazing place to live and grow up. Home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, exotic animals, national parks, and pristine golf courses that spot the island, it has become a very popular travel destination to people all over the world. However, this attraction can be seen as a problem. Bermuda has become the third most densely populated place on Earth, home to around 3,400 people per square mile, with a land area of only 20.75 square miles. This leads to obvious problems such as high traffic and pollution and energy issues which are troubling Bermuda today. When it comes to tourism, many people living in popular vacation areas often share mixed emotions. So I asked Ryan how people treat tourists on the island and what it's like experiencing that throughout the year. We love tourists, love it. Like, uh, they, they really, really expand our businesses. They really, they they love coming to Bermuda. They they go everywhere on the island. They it's it's awesome. We love we love tourists, and um, you see them on the streets, and they're just like, hey, can you tell me where to get to? And it's just awesome to really engage with the tourists, and it it's great. I love I love especially during the summer on the beaches and everything like that. Like they help enhance our even our summer experience, which is awesome. And uh, the funny thing is that uh, they, they can't rent cars while they're in Bermuda uh, because of population reasons. Um, so they're on their little mopeds and uh, these ones are like really, we have our fast bikes, but these ones are really slow. They're just like <laughs> nice scooters. So if the traffic's backed up, it's like, all right, it's either some accident or like a trash truck's picking up some trash or something on the side of the street or tourists is riding a bike. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. You can just tell. And uh, uh, sometimes it gets locals a little frustrated, but other t it's, it's just, no, it's just tourists. But how does this affect the everyday life? A lot of trash is, is all over the place in the summer. Uh, that's one problem. Uh, overpopulation is kind of another thing um since our roads are really small and uh you would notice that like on your way to work in the morning people traffic is really backed up and, and things like that but um those are basically the problems that i've kind of noticed I was curious what kind of things could be done to help the area. Tourism is definitely an advantage for the economy, so changing that in any way would not be beneficial. But overcrowding causes problems with the indigenous species, quality of living, and plenty of other things, such as their growing dependency on oil, which is extremely expensive and dirty. So, what has the government put in place to preserve this absolutely beautiful country that so many people call home, and how are those local people solving the problem? with the ownership of cars and things like that for each household you only have one vehicle unless the vehicle is say see for example my dad is a construction worker so he brings home a truck that he uses for work all the okay. time so we have one car one truck and then we have like i have my bike Most people use the buses and the ferries. Um, I I used the bus when I was uh, younger because most school students use the bus all the time. Um, they have buses parked outside the schools ready to take you wherever you need to go after school. So it's widely used with ele elementary schools, middle schools, high schools. 
Um, but when you reach the age of 16, most most students and uh, people get bikes, and and when you're 18, get cars. So the bus the buses are just used, still widely used with uh, students and okay. younger residents and stuff. So. In middle school, we usually take trips to the Bermuda Underwater Exclamation Institute. And what they basically tell us is the problems that happen within the water and things like that. So um, one thing that we noticed is that when, when you drive around Bermuda, sometimes you see a lot of trash all over the place. And some of this trash ends up in the water, which helps which does not really help the, uh, the fish and things like that, which is what we need in Bermuda because we do a lot of fishing for, uh, uh, for our dinner and stuff like that. So Aside from tourism, fishing and farming are two industries that many Bermudians rely on. And with the resulting problems from overpopulation, those industries can certainly suffer. I know for sure when I was younger, um, since I live kind of high up, and uh, off the back of my neighborhood is like cliffs. So um, we used to, in my neighborhood, there was a lot of crabs that just walked off the hill. And uh, we'd just uh, mess around with the crabs and stuff. And sometimes my dad would be like, you need to get those crabs because we eat crab meat and stuff like that. So um, we noticed that there are no more since we've uh, grown up. A lot of people bring their own bags to um, to the grocery store because we have these certain cooler bags that you can put your colds in when you grocery shopping, okay. stuff like that. So it's actually a lot of people do use them. Like there are things that are implemented. Like um, in every school, there are trash cans like and signs saying "Look, recycle here, trash okay. here," like you know the simple things. But um, it's not really like very popular to the point where everyone's doing it. They tend to take um, the younger, like the middle schools and the um, primary schools, elementary schools to uh, uh, different types of museums and stuff so that they can put forth like the information about like the species and how like you're hurting the animals and um, you should, that's why you should like recycle and do things like that, you know, try to make the students realize that it, it, you're hurting more than yourselves when you just throw a can on the street or something like that. So. Well, I love my country and it's beautiful and it's very, it's a, it's a great attraction. So um, it, it, it kind of, you know, hurts to see like when I'm driving along and it's just like trash all over the place and it's just like we're supposed to like the pictures that people see on the internet, like that's how I want Bermuda to look like mm -hmm. when you come there. Like, of course, it still looks that way, uh, but there are some things that take away from that image. It is incredibly important to take care of the issues that affect our environment. With all the distractions in today's world, it's easy to forget about our eco responsibilities, especially if you're on vacation. Although there are plenty of things we know can help with these issues, there's always something more that can be done.